Now, patents refer to intellectual property rights granted to investors and companies for innovative technologies related to that specific uh, industry. So, in the case of EVs, the, these intellectual property rights are granted for innovative technologies relating to electric vehicles. Uh, these patents can cover various aspects of EV designs, development, manufacturing, including battery technology, electric motor and powertrain, charging systems, vehicle designs, aerodynamics, autonomous driving and safety, thermal management, smart grid and energy storage. This also includes for NEO or for companies like NEO Battery Shopping Station, which is also an energy storage, right? Or which falls under this smart grid and energy storage. You will know that most of these EV companies have got specific patents, which of course they are important for competitive advantage, for innovation, protection, licensing and revenue and industry uh, standardization, right? So if you want to use the NEO's battery shopping station or if you want to build the same battery shopping stations uh, like that of NEO, you will have to pay NEO of licensing and uh, revenues relating to the technology that is uh, similar to that of NEO's battery shopping stations. Not, I know right now as I'm doing this video, CATL intends on having their own battery shopping stations and this battery shopping station cannot be the same as those of NEO because NEO already has got patents for their battery shopping station. I mean, the reason why I'm doing this video today, apparently, I, someone just posted some picture showing or indicating that NEO uh, is the new energy vehicle company with most patents. Uh, because I see on the screen notice that 9,389 patents have been uh, registered by NEO and this of course is from cars, is from charging infrastructure and battery swapping station technology and softwares, right? Which is something that is great because uh, based on this, Tesla only has got 4,832 patents whilst Leoro has got 7,406 patents. Xpeng has got 4,208 patents. Zika has got 3,625. And we've got Xiaomi um, having or oh, sitting with uh, 1,657 patents. So NEO, it is the uh, new energy vehicle car maker out of these ones that are listed here with most patents. 9,389. And I think it would make sense for NEO to have more patents because there are some things that are only being done by NEO, like battery shopping stations there is no ev maker out there globally that is uh, deploying or producing and deploying battery shopping stations so it would make sense for neo to have uh, more patents than uh, uh, these uh, other ev companies because over and above the technologies in their cars the softwares and charging infrastructure they've got battery swapping station which like i said it would make sense why they have uh, so many patents so yeah man i am very excited to to know that uh, neo has got uh, uh, quite number of patents which those that might want to copy their technologies might have to obviously face some um, consequences because unless they get a permission from NEO they are not supposed to copy or duplicate the kind of technology that NEO is deploying whether in uh, their infrastructure whether in their car which is quite uh, interesting now these patents are global patents meaning that they don't only apply in China but they also apply outside of China in the US in Europe in Africa in the of course UAE all these uh, countries uh, globally these patents apply everywhere which is something that is great I mean when you talk about technology you will know that there is not many EV car companies that can compete with NEO yes maybe by the looks some of them they can compete with neo but don't talk about technology because neo when it comes to technology they are top tier it is for that reason that obviously even yesterday on the video where i was doing where mercedes had a software problems and they delayed the all electric uh, cla uh, sedan uh, i said they might need to go for, to neo because mercedes is a high-end 
a brand and Neo is also a high-end brand which therefore it would make sense that if they want help assistance like what we saw VW reaching out to Xpeng they would also have to come and try to get assistance from someone who is of their level and in this case in China that company is Neo. so yeah man I'm Neo. it is that company which is set for greatness and I do not think these are the only patterns that Neo is going to have we are still going to get quite a number of patterns that Neo is going to register and who knows but before the end of this year there could be over 10,000 patterns that Neo has got meaning that those that want to copy their technology uh, without permission they might find themselves being sued being paying quite a number of amount of money to using Neo's technology without notifying Neo, which is why it's quite tricky even for companies like CATL that want to start battery swapping uh, technology because Neo has already done it and therefore it means that the car, how CATL makes or build their battery swapping station they will have to build it a different way than how the Neo battery swapping station is built because Neo already has got patent for the battery shopping stations which is something that is great something that is interesting and it makes me to want to obviously load the boat onto neo because i know technology neo will always be there i know that neo all what's just left is just the share price to realize the kind of potential that lies within neo and then starts rewarding neo because we know technology is there we know neo it is the company which is going to do very well it's not just a matter of might be right now neo is a company that is going to do very well yesterday you saw that when we talk about battery shopping station cherry was seen or two cherry models an suv and a sedan and these are the models that are called exceed so the exceed suv the exceed sedan apparently by q3 they will start utilizing neo's battery shopping station or they will be launched and will be utilizing Neo's battery shopping station which is something that is pretty exciting we saw these cars going camouflaged into Neo's fourth generation battery shopping station which was amazing to see and something that makes me to also be quite certain that those are not Neo or Envo models is because how they got in the battery shopping station you know that it was done manually they did not uh, obviously press on the screen like how Neo models on models are able to do that autonomously so it appears that these partners will be manually driving in the battery shopping station but the good thing is that the battery shopping station notice that once the tires get where they are the then the battery shopping station will push and adjust the car until it is in the perfect spot before completing a battery swap then once it it is adjusted then the bed that's when the battery swap commence and it gets completed which is something that is great something that is pretty exciting so yeah man patents patents are important patents neo has got a lot of them and when i read this i thought i'd quickly come and give you these updates do your own due diligence tell me what you think about this blue sky is coming long term will win those that are persevering will most definitely be rewarded with time what you do with your money it's up to you these are just my opinions and i thought i give them to you consult professional financial advisor if you are seeking for professional uh, advice in terms of which stock to buy but this me i'm going to continue buying or loading the boat onto neo because i know one thing and that is blue sky is coming that's all from me and god bless you all